Hey karate fans, um, I'm here at the beautiful site of the Notter Castle, probably one of the uh, uh, nicest historical castle sites here in Scotland and um, I've been doing some research into uh, not only my own karate research but also into some Scottish uh, martial arts and combat practices and funnily enough Scotland also had uh, dances um, which revolved around teaching how to, to fight. Uh, one famous one is called the Dirk Dance, um, so it's teaching you how to use the Dirk, which is of course a small dagger that people had in you. Now I did a lot of uncovering and um, I managed to find a really interesting dance which is called the Porridge Dance. And of course what you use is a pan for making your porridge and the spurtle which you use for stirring porridge. Now I can't replicate the dance exactly as it is, but I can sort of karate size it and make it like you would understand for karate. And uh, here's how it goes. <clears throat> there you go. So, quite a handy little weapon. Of course, you might be on the road and you need to make yourself some porridge but you know if you get attacked while you're there you can use this for various things you can whip it against the head or you can stab it into the face you can use it to uh, shield yourself from somebody else who's attacking you with a pan or a stick and of course it has this very handy action here of course a Scotsman wearing a kilt is probably one of the worst moves that could possibly happen to you and added to that it fits nicely in my kilt like so there you go, the porridge dance. Catch you later.